Hey everybody, it's Holy Joe Rock and Roll. Coming at you live and unscripted a second time today. Democrat Representative Conyers. C-O-N-Y-N-E-R-S or whatever. He is the longest serving representative in Congress. An African American, I believe he's from Michigan. The dude is almost 90 years old. He was born in 1929. So he's in his 80s, the longest serving congressman. And he's been caught as one of hundreds of representatives or congresspeople who have settled for sexual assault cases. Apparently, the one in particular is he had a staff member who refused to have sex with him. She was fired and filed a claim. And I believe she settled for something like $27,000 and she said that she was not, she was blackballed after that and was not able to get work in, in DC after that. So this is one of the never Trumpers. Well, he's a Democrat and he's been anti-Trump for a long time. Well, for, for, from the beginning, uh, uh, an original founder of the so-called, uh, con congressional black, congressional black caucus. Basically, African-Americans who have created their own little caucus, um, you know, group, basically, of Congress people that sort of caucus together. That means they work together closely, whatever. Um, but, you know, it's okay to have a black caucus. It's okay to have a Hispanic caucus. But imagine if you had a white caucus, that's racism, right? Anyhow, so much for white privilege. This... A representative has been protected by the media, by the lamestream media, for a long, long, long time. And not only did he settle with this one particular person, but there are many allegations of him using taxpayer money or maybe campaign money to uh, fly in women to, to have sex with. And take, one of his aides had to drive some of these women around um, or drive them from the airport to his hotel or whatever. You know, this is really, you know, talk about draining the swamp. This is the kind of stuff that has to happen, right? And I'm really surprised that it, you know, especially since Bill Clinton got busted up for his uh, problems, right? With Monica Lewinsky, the lying, the cover up. I'm really surprised that the media, since then, the mainstream media hasn't been more aggressive in going after these cases. But. As we know, the mainstream media is leftist. Definitely, the the fourth estate is a, uh, a, a an arm of the Democrat Party, right? Supporting them, promoting them, protecting them, covering up for them, and that's that's been all along, right? Everybody knew in Hollywood about Weinstein, and yet they covered that up, right? Everybody knew about Bill Clinton from his Arkansas days, and they covered that up. And now here we go, Representative Conyards, the same deal, the same deal. And the fact that these settlements are coming out of taxpayer money, that means that the Paul Ryan, he had to have known about this. Uh, even if he wasn't speaker at the time, the settlement was in 2015, so he had to have known. Yes, he was speaker. He was definitely speaker in 2015, so he had to have known. But listen, even if you aren't the speaker, you're going to know. There's only... Uh, I mean, yeah, there's, well, there's 100 senators and there's whatever, 530 something congressional seats. You would know. You would know from people, from colleagues, from, you would know. He would have to know. Come on, if he's such a wise guy, he's such a smart guy, he's so well connected, people would tell you dirt on other people. You would just know. But because this guy was Democrat, he was an African American, he happens to be a civil rights, uh, I guess you would call him a civil rights champion. Um, maybe a friend of uh, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. He's been protected. And now this information came out. Mike Cernovich and BuzzFeed both released this information. And Mike Cernovich was talking about a big story coming out. And this list, he published the list on Twitter. I looked at it. Obviously, there's no names. It just tells you the settlement amounts. And there's, there's over $15 million worth of settlements in the last, I think it's 10 years, that has gone out to settle these types of cases from Congress people, the people that are supposed to be 
making our laws, uh, looking out for the people, helping us out, right? Protecting the people, put America first. And that's what they're doing. And this is just another, I think, nail in a cough in the coffin of the Democrats, at least for the foreseeable future, unless they really come out against this representative. I mean, the guy is so old. I'm not saying, you know, that he's too, not, look, the guy's old enough that he needs, should be tired. And that's another reason for term limits to help drain the swamp. There should be term limits. You know, maybe two terms in the House, two terms in Congress maximum. And get out. Career politicians was never the goal or the idea of the founding fathers. It was always uh, the House and the Senate. These representatives were always supposed to be drawn from the, the public, pe- from the mass of people, from the people, and they were supposed to go to Congress, do their job, and then go home. Right? That was the whole, that's the idea around it. And same thing with the presidency. George Washington, our first president of the United States, set up precedent by only serving two terms. And then it was FDR, the leftist, who ran for, I think, a fourth term. He died in office during the fourth term. And that's why they had the 25th Amendment, which was to to do term limits on the president. So yeah, I agree that it should be term limits on the presidency, definitely. And the same thing should apply to the House and the Senate. And this is just, dude, this is just amazing. You know, for every one Republican who pops up, you, you find 10 or 15 or 20 Democrats that are accused of these types of things, misconduct or out and out, just disgusting behavior, man. Who raised you? I mean, who raised you that you would do this kind of stuff? I mean, it's one thing I, I remember in junior high school, in junior high school, you know, guys would say, you know, suggestive stuff Vir- complete virgins, right? Just trying to get trying to get their game on. And, you know, the girls would just say, step off, leave me alone, don't touch me, right? Easy. And but that's that's junior high school. You know, what are you, what, you 13, 14 years old? This dude's 80, 89 years old. <laughs> There's just no excuse for it at any age, really. There's really no excuse for it at any age. Wow. So this is a big story that just popped. And I got a feeling that that this list of settlements is going to have to be uh, un- unsealed. It's going to have to be unsealed. We're going to have to know who made settlements. Now, look, if you settle with somebody, it doesn't necessarily 100% mean that you did something wrong. It just means that, you know, you know, perhaps there was a misunderstanding and you were forced to settle because it's easier to settle than to battle it in court for five, six years. But Conyards, yeah is definitely a retard and (laughs) he needs to leave. He needs to go. And I got a feeling that this type of a case, this guy will not, will will either be primaried out of the Democrat party or he'll lose to a a challenger. Because I don't see how he can stand the scrutiny of either a a primary challenge or a, a Republican who has any kind of mojo to just bring this up and bring this up you know in every public appearance in every tv ad in every every time the guy's name is mentioned you know sexual predator representative conyards needs to go would be you know one mantra that could be just repeated over and over again so this is really really interesting i mean draining the swamp you know one critter at a time so al franken Conyards, maybe even more people. I mean, personally, I, you know, Paul Ryan hasn't done anything for me. I don't think he's done anything really that you can visibly see. And he's always been this timid, you know, one toe in the water kind of a supporter of Trump. He was anti-Trump for a long time. And then he sort of was kind of wishy-washy, like, you know, I'll support the, the eventual nominee. And now you can see, yeah, they're starting to get a few legislative legislative stuff passed, but really not... Not aggressively. Come on, it's been a year. Cong- it's Congress' it's job. That, that's their job. They've had seven or eight years under Obama to strategize on what they would do when they have power. And they've had power for over a year now, all three branches. And they've had the House and the Senate for over four years now, or at least for four years. So that's what's up. Amazing. Just amazing news 
that this information is coming out. And two things, again, where where the leftists who are supposed to be so pro-women's rights, so pro-women, that they didn't bring this out. They're not curious about this. They were never curious about this. Nobody from the left-wing press never heard about this, and, and they just covered it up, you know? So that's why I don't really watch any kind of mainstream media except to see what they're saying and criticize them because it's always very biased and leftist. So... Whatever, for the most part, for the most part. But here's a case where BuzzFeed, which is a pretty shitty website, actually collaborated with Mike Cernovich, who is, this is like his third or fourth big scoop um, within the last, I don't know, 15 months, 12 months. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. I think um, people trust him to provide him with information and he's getting it out there to the public. So like, like a WikiLeaks. With you know, without the uh, without the drama, right? I mean, without the, uh, the, the whatever the, I mean, whatever. It's it's like that. So, Holy Joe Rock and Roll with another sexual predator busted. He's going down, and this is just the beginning of the draining of the swamp. I'm Holy Joe Rock and Roll, reminding you to always make it happen for the captain, because you're the captain. <laughs>